Women pastors is a perfect example of this. I mean, if you believe that the Bible should be taken in light of the culture of the day, because look, our culture today is jacked, big time. If you think that the culture of the day should define the Bible, and not that the Bible should define the culture of the day, anything goes, folks. I mean, just take the, the, the simple example of a woman pastor. 1 Timothy chapter 3 gives us the qualifications of a pastor. And within seven verses, God says nine times that the pastor should be a man. You think God's serious? When God repeats something, he's trying to get something across. Look at verse number one. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Verse 2, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, but not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man not know how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being filled up with pride, he fall, into the con he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and snare of the devil. Why shouldn't pastors only be men? Because God says it. That's why. Like, I don't agree with that. I don't care what you agree with. This is what the Bible says. And this is what defines why we do things here. This, is, this defines everything about it. It's not the culture of the day. This is how God wants it done. By definition, a woman pastor is a false prophet because she doesn't believe the Bible. So she's preaching something or, or, or claiming to preach something that she doesn't even believe.